Join us for today's message already in progress. It's your father today. In Jesus' name, amen. Glory to God. I'd like you to turn in your Bibles today to James, the third chapter. And we're going to be talking about bitterness is the most unhealthy, healthiest emotion. Bitterness is the most unhealthy emotion. Whether you know it or not, bitterness will cause damage to you spiritually and ultimately will cause damage to you physically. Amen. So I'd like you to turn to James, the third chapter. And that's our foundation scripture. James 3. Folks, listen to this. The body of Christ need to wake up to what's going on, what the enemy is trying to do. They need to really wake up. They're asleep. And the Bible talks about them awake out of the sleep and wake up to righteousness. You don't wake up to righteousness, guess what? You're asleep. And you know something? Well, you know what? If you sleep and your house is not on guard, guess what? Happens? Somebody come and steal everything from you. And that's what exactly what the devil is doing to believers now. He's stealing from them. And in these last days, folks, well, we don't have time to be giving up and quitting. Too much at stake to do that right now. Amen. James 3, verse 14. He says, if, you have, if ye have bitter and envy and strife in your heart, glory not and lie not against the truth. Now, on the, this word envy simply means jealousy too. Jealousy is really a part of the bitterness family. Because well, you're, you're bitter because somebody else succeed and you didn't. And you felt that you should succeed. Amen? Where envy and strife is, I'm, I'm sorry, for, but if you have bitter and envy and strife in your heart, glory not and lie not against the, it's against the truth. Now he says there, don't lie if you have this. If you got bitterness in your heart, don't lie and say you don't have it. I said that to somebody one time. I said, you're bitter. Well, I'm really not bitter. Oh, oh yes, you are. Because you know what? The p people show the signs of it. And there are certain signs. I'm going to show you what are signs of bitterness. And in order for people to recognize it, I have to show you, I have to show you the signs of bitterness. And I'm going to show you all the signs so you'll, you'll recognize. Not only that, you will know the signs of bitterness fathers you and you can be able to recognize the signs of bitterness father somebody else because bitterness is a poison. Hello? Now they talk about on the news now, they're talking about the swine flu from California now. Hello? Well, you know, if you let bitterness in your life, just like catching a swine flu. And I mean, how many of you know when you got the flu, you don't feel like doing nothing? Am I right or wrong? Amen? Glory to God. Now, Amplified reads, verse 14 says, But if you have bitter or jealousy and contention or rivalry, it's selfish ambition. See, a lot of people that are bitter, they have self ambitious. And a bitter person, I need to say this to you, a bitter person will always go into what you call self preservation. Let me bring my down just a little. Self preservation. They're always trying to protect themselves. Amen? He says, but if you have bitter, amplified, if you have bitter, jealousy, envy, and contention, rivalry, selfish ambitions in your heart, do not pride yourself on it. Don't pride yourself on it. And thus be defiant and of a force to the truth. Verse 15. This wisdom. Now notice here, we know that what the wisdom of God is, but he talks about this wisdom. What wisdom? This wisdom of bitterness, this wisdom of jealousy, is still a wisdom. Would you agree with that? It's still a wisdom. So, in other words, so therefore, my objective as a believer, I want to walk in godly wisdom, not bitter wisdom. <laughs> Amen? But bitterness is a wisdom. But the bitterness wisdom is contrary to godly wisdom. Amen? Y'all got that. It's going to get better. Amen? He said, this wisdom, this wisdom is, ascended, is not from above. In other words, he said, this wisdom did not come above. So that means godly wisdom come from where? Above. Amen. This wisdom is ascended not from above, but is what? 
earthly, sensual, and it's what? Devilish. So therefore now, why would you want to spend your time in association with somebody you recognize as bitter that's devilish? He already, now, I didn't write the Bible. It says they're devilish. Now, I didn't say you couldn't say hello to him. Hello? But to spend time on the phone talking to him and having fellowship, that's not the person you want to have fellowship with. Believe me, because guess what? It is contagious. Now, if I, if I share with all you, I want to invite you over to my house this afternoon and y'all all come over. But I, but I want you to know I have um, scarlet fever. How many of you want to come? Matter of fact, I told you right now I have scarlet fever. You'll probably be ready to boogie out of the church. Amen? Why? Because scarlet fever can be what? Contagious. And so, so is bitterness. Amen? Now, verse 15, the Amplified reads, this superficial wisdom, superficial, See, see a person, watch this, see a person is bitter, they're always trying to cover their bitterness and they put on this superficial covering. Back in the self-preservation, trying to hide the real them. Amen? So it's actually what they really do is, is they got an issue with somebody or whatever happened. It's there, but they kind of do things to try to cover it up. You understand? Let me say this to you. A dog can come make a mess on your lawn. Okay? And you know what? It can smell. And you know what? You can cover it up, but the smell is still going to be there. See? And a bitter person can do everything he can to cover it up, but you know what? It's still there. Amen? Amen.